In this video, we're going to be palpating pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor is a muscle in the anterior chest area here. So we're going to be going through its O and its I and then palpating the muscle belly. One, I'm going to be palpating the muscle belly through pectoralis major and secondarily, we're going to be going underneath pectoralis major. The origin of pectoralis minor is on ribs three, four, and five. So I like to start off of the sternum on the costal cartilages and then work my way over towards the rib. So costal cartilage is number one, number two, and number three. Once I've found costal cartilage of rib three, I usually follow that lateral and then it turns more into a rib from costal cartilage and you're not really easily gonna be able to feel that junction. So if you were to palpate through the fiber direction is running primarily superior inferior, so you have to go through your pectoralis major fibers and palpating down. Now, male or female, we're not going to be making contact with the areola, so I'm not going to be heading down towards the attachment on rib number five. You are following the belly up, and at this point, what I'm actually going to ask my partner to do is to roll his shoulder forward and down a little bit. So not excessively, and I'm going to bring it back, but almost just pushing straight up to my head. Perfect. No more than that. And go back down. So I'm going to palpate what I believe is pec minor. And again, a little bit of that action for me. Good. And I can follow that all the way up towards the inferior portion of the coracoid process of the scapula here. So ribs three, four, and five, all the way up towards that coracoid process. Now I'm going to redo that palpation, except I'm going to be going underneath his pectoralis major for more of a direct palpation of pec minor. So costal cartilage of one, two, and three. Again, I'm going to palpate lateral, and I'm going to pause here. Pec major is tight usually and flat across the body, so I'm going to try to move it out of the way by using his arm. So I'm going to take his arm keeping an idea of where rib number three is, I'm actually going to bring it across his body. And at this point, we're going to have it rested. So that has shortened up his pectoralis major. So I can move past it and I can actually now go underneath it quite easily. And now I'm on rib number three and I can cross fiber right in here, his pec minor. You might be able to get a little bit of a twang on the camera for you. There we go. So here's rib number three underneath that, rib number four, and then deep to that rib number five. So we can palpate that fiber. At this point, I'm gonna put my hand on top of his elbow and ask him just to push his elbow up towards the ceiling a little bit, which is protraction. Good. This time, can you push a little bit down towards my hand? There we go. So there's pec minor, lift it up in my hand, and I'm gonna follow that right up into the axilla. I'm going to turn my hand and I'm going to sink in and gently work my up and I'm now touching his coracoid process from underneath his pectoralis major. Again, very gently lift your perfect and back down. So I've palpated the whole muscle belly from origin to insertion more directly instead of going through pec major. All right, so that's going to conclude our palpation of pectoralis minor, and we'll return for the actions in another video for the manual muscle test.